we, um, as advertisers, um, empowered him to do The Apprentice. And The Apprentice is really a big, really helped make him. I mean, as Michael was pointing out, The Apprentice went from one disaster to the next to the next, and just, it's like reality TV. And I think it taught him to be the way that he was. Obviously, we um, have learned, all of us, to consume media in ways that I think advertising has affected a lot. We consume it in little pieces really fast. Somebody was telling me this morning that she, you know, she reads Twitter for all of her news now. And of course, you know, we have learned ways to embed ourselves in there. And I think the little pieces of advertising mixed with content, mixed with news, um, we've, we've taught people to digest information that way. And of course, Trump has used that. Trump is the first guy to tweet as president, for better or worse. He obviously has made it something that people, I think, will, will always do, hopefully with more decorum than he does. TV is still a dominant medium, but it gets used through the internet. It gets cut up into pieces and thrown at us. It's different that way. You know, it's different from watching Fox and Friends. If you get a piece of Fox and Friends, you know, this little lurid piece that's sailed at you, it's a different experience. And I think that's what we're learning to, uh, to be a little bit skeptical about. I think we're a lot more skeptical about media since Trump became president. We don't believe stuff anymore. I mean, I, I think that actually hurts us as advertisers that, like, I, I, I basically believe I tell the truth for my clients, and I think he hurts that. Some people believe that brands are going to replace media because we don't believe the media people anymore. So the brands will tell the truth. That sounds kind of like a shaky proposition. Um, but I've heard the other thing, which is that people aren't going to care about brands anymore because they're just going to press a button and Tide will be delivered to their house if it's a Tide button. Or it's the, the, cheapest, um, the cheapest laundry detergent button and they'll just get that from Amazon. When I'm speaking to a client, you know, like, Pepsi, it has a high profile, BMW. We definitely speak in terms of the way that a campaign is going to be seen in the context of the world and not just as a piece of uh, media anymore. You know, it used to be that you would just talk about this particular vector of stuff. Now you have to go, you know, where is it going to take place? What's the, what's the context around it? What's, what's actually the news context around it, you know? Um, it's, it's, you have to think of those things.